Hi, David here of Ultimart A to B. Here we've got a Seat Ibiza 1.4 petrol, it's a Toka edition. It's in a beautiful colour as well as I'm sure you can see. And what I'll be doing in this video is just showing you around the condition of the vehicle and showing you some of the features inside. As it has got a few that aren't standard. So we'll just start with the back driver's side alloy. As you can see it's in great condition there. I'll give you a shot down the side of the car so you can see there's no dents anywhere. And moving on onto the second alloy. The alloys are all in really good condition on this vehicle. In fact, the entire bodywork is. It's just a really nice looking example, if you ask me. And the colour does actually look even nicer when it's a sunny day, unlike today. So there's the third alloy. Bring the mirror there. I'll give you the same shot there on this side. Some lovely lines on it. And there we go. Fourth alloy. Not one bit of curbing to be seen. And we'll just open the boot. As you can see inside, it's a fairly sizeable boot. You do also get a tyre inflation kit just underneath there. Don't really get many vehicles with a the, uh, spare wheel these days. So in jumping into the vehicle, this is the bit that I've been looking forward to. Is it's actually got an aftermarket Garmin system here that's made to fit with Seat. So if you can see, we've got the box there, so all the instructions and everything's inside. That will be given to any potential future owner. I'll just start the engine now to show it's nice and healthy. There we go. And as you can see there, the mileage, 46,669. And as you can see there, links in with the car. If we just turn the radio on, for example, auxiliary, it then says aux at the top there. So it's definitely well wired into this car. You do get navigation there, so... Know what the middle one does? Well, uh, press that one. Not connected. You don't want to connect it to a smartphone. But as you can see, you get quite a lot of features through this. It's a nice little touch screen as well. There we go. Car info. You got a trip computer, an eco trainer. Shows you all your sort of status there. There you are. Quite a nice little uh, screen, if you ask me. You can do all sorts with that. It's probably worth having a bit more of a look into that via the uh, the manual in there but moving on anyway so you do have sat nav in there you've got loads of ways of connecting your devices up it's got bluetooth as well and then you've also got aux input there which is just that little one there so moving on anyway you've got aircon in here so you just turn it on as you normally would in any other vehicle and it'll turn itself on there if you don't want it to be so cold you can flip that up and then moving down as well You've got your 12 volt power supply just down here. Little sort of storage bit just to the left of it. And then you've got a few little buttons down here for your demister, your tire deflation, and then your lock and unlock. And then you've got five speed manual gearbox there. And then back to the wheel again. So you haven't actually got any wheel controls. They're all just hidden just behind there. So you've got your controls to answer the phone and your volume. And then on the other side here, you've just got your wipe controls there and then your indicators and lights on that side. So lights, it's more your main beam there. And then on this side, when it focuses, there we go, you've just got your normal settings for your, for your lights, your uh, side lights and your dip beam there. So just onto the rear leg room, you do get quite a bit for a three door car here. Obviously it's not quite as big as a Leon, but it's certainly big enough for anybody who's not carting massive amounts of load around or people. So if there's anything I've missed on this video or there's any extra info I've not covered, don't hesitate to get in contact and we'll see how we can help you out. Thanks, take care, bye.